To put in a rehearsal mark, you're going to go over and select the expression tool. Let's say measure 5 is the start of verse 1. So I'm going to just click right above beat 1 here, double click, and choose rehearsal marks. And here are our, all the rehearsal marks we have um, pre-made already. So just make sure you're using the LCBC Finale template. I'm going to choose first one, say assign, and that's it. Go down, let's say measure 13 is a course. I'm going to go down there, choose course one. So if there is a time you may run into a situation where you have a rehearsal mark where you want to you know, have a different heading for it than what we already have pre-made. So let's say you have a flute solo. So what I can do is say well, guitar solo, I'm going to say duplicate. I'm going to go into edit and erase the word guitar, delete that, and type flute. Say OK. And you can see I've just created a new rehearsal mark. And that's it. The other thing I would say too is at the end of each section I really like having double bar lines. It's a great way um, to give a visual cue for the player that a new section is coming up. So I'm going to have them choose the measure tool here. I want to click this last measure of verse 1. Double click on that and then click on double here on, on their bar line and say OK. Alright, thanks.